Do you know those wiping effects that show you a before and after? In this video I'm going to show you how, but before we start, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable, so if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let's start with the video. Right, so I've got a clip over here. Now let me play that clip for you. And you see that the girl is dancing, the camera is moving around, and we don't have a wipe effect just yet. Before we can do that, I've made a second clip over here, which I'll save. But before we can do that, you're going to select the clip. You're going to hit Alt and you're going to drag it up. That will duplicate this clip. But now what you want to do is you want to make sure that this layer is gradually going to be introduced into this image. To show you a before and after, we need to make sure that these clips aren't the exact same. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this clip stays selected and I'm going to the color page. And now in the color page, I'm just going to do a quick edit. I've got one node, so I'm not going to change anything much. I'm just going to increase the contrast and I'm going to increase the saturation as well, but quite a bit. So we've got a good before and after. Now let's go back to the edit tab and here you see the result of that. So if I deselect this layer, you will see the original clip. And now if I activate it, you will see the clip as if we've edited it. Now obviously this doesn't look good and there's a couple of stages in which you need to do this. I'm going to make a different tutorial on that. So for now, let's work with this. Right, so now we gotta make sure that we get this wiping effect. And for that you need the inspector tab. So maybe this is closed, so you can just click on here and this will pop up. And it will say composite, transform, and cropping. And this is the one that you want. And if it's not folded out or maximized, just double click it and then the values are going to be shown right now. And the thing that we want to do is we want to add two keyframes, one at the start and one at the end of the clip. At the start, we're going to make sure that the entire clip is being cropped. And you saw what happened, so we're going to create a keyframe. I'm going to place the marker on the final end of this clip and I'm going to drag this down to zero. You can fill it in manually as well by just clicking in it and then use your numpad or whatever. So let's go to the beginning of the clip and now watch what happens. I'll enlarge this just a little bit. Now watch what happens. You see that gradually the clip that's on top is being shown right now and you see a before and after. And that's it. That's all there is to it, just to make sure you get a wiping effect. Obviously, you can be very creative with this, but for now, we're going to leave it as this. I hope you like it. So if you want to show your audience something a quick before and after, this is the way to do it. If you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!